All right, so check it out, guys. When you first get your package in the mail for your plate wrap kit, you're going to get your base sheet of vinyl. This is going to be your background. And you're going to get your lettering and your California logo. Now, these are going to be on transfer tape, so you just have to remove the transfer tape once you get your background on and lay those. So we'll get to that part once we lay our background. Now, our background is a special kind of vinyl that's going to fit perfectly on the license plate. It does have a protective film on the front, so you don't have to worry about scratching it or anything when you're putting it on. You'll just peel that off when you're all done. So let's get started. So before you actually start wrapping your plate, you're going to want to clean your existing plate with some alcohol or even clean it in the sink and let it dry. But just give it a few sprays and make sure it's completely clean. There's no dirt or grime on it, any oils. You just want it to be nice and clean. That way that vinyl goes and sticks on there and never comes off. All right, now that we got our plates nice and clean, we're going to go ahead and peel the backing off the vinyl just to show you. The vinyl is going to cover the plate completely with about a half an inch, maybe a little bit more on each side. So you're going to want to center it because we're not going to cut the vinyl after. We're simply going to wrap it over the edges for a nice clean look and it's going to protect the plate a lot more. So let's go ahead and get this down. You're going to want a nice flat area where you can work. You're just going to peel the vinyl off the backing. Okay. Now remember the vinyl has a protective layer on the front so you don't got to worry about scratching it or anything like that. Now that we have our vinyl with the backing peeled off, we're going to try to center it as best as we can. And you're kind of just want to, going to want to lay it down right in the middle because we're going to work from the middle out. So just like that. So now we got everything covered and we're going to start from the middle all, and we're going to work our way to the, the top the bottom and the outside. I like to find where the letters start, kind of feel around and get those traced out, maybe just starting right in the middle. And you're going to want to use your fingers just to push the vinyl directly on the edge of each number. Now this vinyl allows air to escape, so when you're pressing down, the air is going to go out to the edges and it's going to stick nicely to the letters, that way you don't have no bubbles or any creases. So you're just going to continue like this, working the edges of the letters and the tops of the letters in between, pushing the air outward from the top to the bottom. And you're going to do that to one side to the right, and then you're going to do it one side to the left. During this step, it's not necessary. See here, I have a nine that has a pocket of air. Don't do anything with that middle piece. I'm going to show you exactly what to do with it once we're done wrapping all the numbers. Actually, once we're done wrapping the whole plate. Now you are going to need to use some amount of pressure with your finger just to really make sure the vinyl is down. Make sure you don't have any bubbles. And you're just working your way outward and away from the numbers, but pressing into the edge of the number as well. And don't be afraid to get in there a little bit with your fingernail. It's not going to scratch the vinyl. Like I said, there's that protective layer that's over the vinyl. So even here, it looks like I did a little something with my fingernail, but you'll see once I pull off that layer, the vinyl underneath is gonna be completely clean. No scratches or anything to the vinyl because of that protective layer. Don't be afraid to peel up the vinyl every once in a while if you need to, if you feel like you may get a crease or something's just not going right, you can always pull up a little bit. All right, so you can see here that we got our numbers basically completely wrapped, no bubbles. If we see any bubbles at the end, we can always poke those out with a little tool. I'll show you that at the end. But now that we got our letters done, let's continue smoothing out the rest of the plate, working outward.
right, so I have the whole plate wrapped. I'm just going to go around these edges and sort of press that into the corners. Get that wrapped as best as I can. Like I said, at the end, if you have any, any tiny bubbles, we can always get those out. So, now that we have this wrap, what we're going to do is these pockets of air on the numbers. So I have an 8 here that has two pockets, a 9. So the numbers may have that little pocket of air. You're going to want to get like a needle. Probably a needle would be best. I have this little tool here <clears throat> for vinyl, but it's basically the same thing. It's got a fine point, and we're going to poke a tiny hole right at the bottom in the vinyl and we're going to press the air out from the top and we're just going to press our finger in and work the air out towards that bubble. So we're going to press in at the top and work the air out towards that bubble. So that air already went out and that vinyl is nice and stuck in there. We're going to do that down here. Press it. Work the air out with our finger from the top. And you have to press a hole. If you don't press a hole, your bubble's gonna stay there. The air's not gonna have anywhere to go. We're gonna do it finally with the nine and press out all that air and make sure that vinyl is nice and sticky in there. Okay, so now that we have our plate wrapped, what you wanna do is remove that outer layer of film. So just do that by kind of bending the corner a little bit until you see it. Where are you? Okay, so there's the protective film. So you're going to want to remove that completely. You see that protective film coming off? Now once this film is off, you're going to want to start from the top and work your way around. We're not going to cut it. We're simply just going to fold it over. Let's start here at the top. We're going to work our way all the way around and back where we started. So let's start at the top and we're pulling, pulling over and pressing down in the back. And we're going to do that all the way around. And when you get to the corners, you're probably going to have to fold it about three times. So pull it till you get to the corner. Then come here, pull around, come here, pull around, really stretching over that corner until you get to the other side and you're just gonna keep going around. All right, so I got it all wrapped around the back. Just gonna press down, make sure it's nice and tight in the back. I noticed a couple air bubbles. I'm just going to do my best to work those out. If I can't get them out, I'm going to use my tool. All right, everything looks pretty snug and wrapped. You're going to notice that I wrapped over the tags. At the end, we can go with a razor blade or something and cut it out. But for now, let's go ahead and get our fingerprints off the plate before we put our Vinyl stickers, I'm just going to use the spray, spray my rag here a little bit, let me get my numbers cleaned off. Once your numbers are clean, you're ready to go. So we're going to get our numbers here that are pre-cut, they have a backing on them. We're going to start with the eight. You just peel off the front part to the back in here. All right, so the numbers come off like this. It has a little grid, so that kind of helps you to know where you're going to put it. I like to start putting my number at the top left corner. <clears throat> Usually, if you can put it at the top left corner, and sort of see through where the rest of it's going to go, it's going to end up lining up perfectly. So find the top left corner of the number, get it as center as I can, and then you're just going to place it down. 
rub it, make sure it's nice and stuck on there. And then just peel this piece off. So there, we have our first letter. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the letters and then we'll put our California logo at the top. So now we have our plate number completely laid out. Let's go ahead and get our California sticker on there now. Let's kind of judge where it's going to end up being at. You can always take a picture of your previous plates for reference. Yes, we're just going to try to get it, you know, as centered as possible, as straight as possible, and at a at a good height. So you just press that down with your finger. Make sure the letters are nice and firm. Okay, so once you have your letters placed down, just peel off your backing. That's my little tool. Okay, so that's it. Our plate has been transformed. If you have a brand new plate, then you don't need to go on to this next step. You're basically done. But what I'm going to do now is since I have tags, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the tags with a razor blade. I'm not gonna cut the outer edge. What I'm gonna do is cut a little bit inside the edge. That way you don't see any of the previous plate. So I have a razor blade here. We're just gonna go ahead and get that cut out really quick. Do the same thing over here with the month. All right, guys, there you have it. That's how you wrap your uh, custom plate kit that you received in the mail. Hope this video helped you guys out. I hope you guys are enjoying your custom wrap plates. Thank you.